Hello, I'm Michael with Malpac. Thanks for joining today. Uh, this video is going to show how I built a climbing wall system for um, one of my kids to, to climb up the wall. Uh, so anyway, uh, just there's some wood involved and then you could find the climbing wall um, rocks, you know, that you bolt to the wall. You can find those on Amazon or some other place that sells those. Um, Hopefully you, you learn something from this, get an idea of one way to do it, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and uh, look at my other playlists, and uh, maybe you'll find something that you like. All right, uh, let's get started here. Thank All right, so here is a piece of plywood that I cut to fit where I needed to put the climbing wall. Um, I used kind of a higher end wood plywood um, with a smooth surface. And this is kind of cool. It has a, a neat design on it. You'll see when um, done putting the varnish on it. So I'm going to put three or four coats of this clear coat on it. This is going to make it uh, stain resistant and um, it's not going to um, attract any um, rubs or anything like that from walls going up the or excuse me for shoes going up the wall um, and then it'll be easy to clean and then I, I stain these uh, pieces of wood as well to go on the edges and so I'm I'm putting kind of a, a liberal or a lot of uh, the stain or excuse me the clear coat on my brush and I'm brushing it on to the the wood making sure that any like globs or drips are, are smoothed out before I move on to the next um, piece of wood so that was the first coat here is the second coat and you'll see as you install each of the clear coats it starts getting smoother and smoother and, and the glossier um, when you have just one coat on there, I didn't use any like um, sealer of some sort. And so what happens with the first coat, it kind of seeps into the wood so um, it doesn't stay on the surface as much. When you put multiple coats on it, each coat kind of st stays on the surface the more coats you use. And so it just builds up and builds up and then gets really smooth. So if you want a really high glossy smooth uh, finish put uh, lots of coats on it um, i'm opting to only do three which is going to have a nice good uh, shine to it when it's done so just uh, wrapping up the second coat here and then on to the third coat you kind of see the the dark spot on the plywood has a really cool little um, design to it from the the tree When you're doing consecutive coats like this, sometimes it's difficult to know where you left off. And so I kind of go back and look and see where I've uh, put the clear coat on and where I may have um, missed. And like I said, I'm, I'm putting a pretty good um, amount on the plywood to make sure I get a nice uh, even coat with um, a lot of the uh, clear coat on there. So here's finishing up uh, coat number three and then I move to kind of laying out where I want to put the grab or the the foot um, you know fake rock so we could put the climb up the wall. I screwed one hole to uh, install the grab handles and then I also um, am installing uh, some one by threes to kind of flare out the or have the climbing wall 
a, about three quarters inch away from the wall. This will allow the, the wall to be flush with my base trim in my uh, living room that I'm going to be installing it. There's the uh, one by threes. My base trim is uh, three quarters inch thick, and so this is three quarters inch thick. So I'll put it on the back side of the climbing wall, and so it'll step out or bump out from the wall, so it'll go over the base. Here's the uh, bolt assembly. I went to my local hardware store and picked up these. Um, I have a, a washer and a bolt that goes through, and then I have a a washer that I put on the back side and then a, a lock washer on that. I guess it's more of a uh, um, not necessarily a lock nut but it has a special piece in there so when it goes out to the bolt it's not going to come off very easily. So that's kind of the same system that I'm going to use for all of the climbing wall um, points on the climbing wall and each one of these are a little different and so I'm not screw uh, drilling the hole before I um, get everything uh, situated so um, you'll see here pretty soon that as I go through and install all these I think I have nine That I'm placing on this wall and so I, I put one bolt inside on one side and then I uh, drill a hole for the other side and then I'm able to install the other bolt on the second um, side of the grab um, the piece I can't remember what the called parts sorry so here's me just uh, quickly going through and kind of um, going through my process of installing these um, pieces on the climbing wall. And all in all, I think this took probably, because eh, it was a couple day event because I after staining, I let it sit for a little while, and then I kind of put it away to kind of let the varnish harden through time. I think it took, I think I kind of let it set for about a week, and then I came back and started installing the grab um, parts of the climbing wall. And as soon as these, um, the grab handles are installed, I'm able to install it on my wall. I didn't have to wait. So, I believe it took, I want to say probably max five hours to do all I'm doing here. Um, so, the little rock hand hold things, foot, foot uh, pieces, I had for from a play set that we didn't install. But when, when I was looking on um, at at pricing and stuff for these I think you could pick up um, 10 or so for about 50 to 60 dollars and so just kind of FYI for that you could do your own research and figure that out so I think this part was the most time-consuming and um, thinking uh, a lot of thinking involved with doing this the the nice thing was that I had these uh, saw horses set up and I was able to uh, work up high to install these um, grab pieces
Now after this, like I said, it's um, just installing it on the wall and then um, being able to enjoy it. So I used some lag bolts that were um, calculated to go into my um, studs in my wall for about three inches. So um, make sure you calculate it so you have a very secure place to um, you know, uh, climb on this. Um, so there you go. I'm going to be showing you the finished product here in a second. And thanks so much for watching today. And I hope that uh, this kind of helped you uh, with your climbing wall. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and um, like the, the video. And have a great day.